Hi, my name is Sam, and today I'm going to take you through a quick guide of how you can get started with the SkySieve Structural Analysis and Design API in less than five minutes. Um, so first I just want to introduce you to the SkySieve API and, and what it does and how it works. So basically the API enables, um, enables you to build your own solutions around our technology. So rather than manually going through the interface and building your model and running structural analysis and reviewing the results, you can basically send us an API request of exactly what you want, we'll perform all that work and then send you back the response or the result of the information that you really care about. So what can the API help out with? Well, it can help you model your structure. So you can automatically build structural models or you can migrate this data from other platforms such as Revit or Tecla or Excel or any other platforms that you're currently using. Uh, it's really in an easy readable file format, which we'll, we'll go through a little bit later. And you can also save and load this, um, this data or these models to your cloud storage so you can open up the model through the SkySiv user interface. You can also perform structural analysis using finite elements. So you can run perform a linear or a nonlinear buckling analysis. Um, you can run plate analysis, cables. Um, rigid links, all those different uh, types of elements that we run in the user interface, you can actually access that technology directly via the API. We also perform uh, member design checks for steel, wood, concrete members, um, and you can pull out the wind loads and snow load forces required from particular design codes such as ASCE or Australian Standards. And finally, you can actually optimize um, those member designs to perform uh, or to calculate what the most efficient member that you can use in that catalogue um, for those structural models that you've, that you've built. And then there's a whole range of other great features that we have like rendering uh, or PDF reporting that enable you to build your own solutions with all of that power and all of that technology that SkySiv has to offer. So um, here we've got some great case studies about users and engineers that are currently using the API for automating their workflows and their processes. And the real, the real great thing with this is that you can do all this with just a little bit of code. So you can build these programs or these solutions just once and you can continue to use them over and over with uh, great accuracy and reliability. So it just speeds up your workflow for the next year, you know, five, ten years to come uh, if you just spend a little bit of time to uh, build these solutions now. So they can really make you more efficient as a company um, or automate some of those more mundane tasks that you might not enjoy doing. Um, and so you can really, it's really quite easy to get started. So um, you can just sign up for a, three, for a free 30 day trial of our SkySiv API. Otherwise, if you already have a SkySiv account, you will have some API credits um, included with your account. So feel free to use those. Uh, and we're gonna dive in now and uh, show you how easy it is to, to get started. So um, to get started, really, we're just gonna sign in on this form. So you fill in your details, uh, you you'll, you'll get provided with thousand API credits, uh, 30 days to use them, and also access to our um, API engineers to help you if you get stuck or if you have any questions with implementing or evaluating um, your solutions. Uh, I'm gonna bypass that, I've already got a, a SkySiv account. So um, I'm just gonna pretend that I've logged in and this is my uh, first uh, interaction with the software. So uh, this is our dashboard, um, which has all of our other cloud-based uh, analysis and design software. So you can feel free to visit those, but today we're gonna to really focus on this link here, which is the API sandbox mode. So all we've really done is just build a very easy interface for you to start testing um, the API right, right from the beginning. So you don't really have to build your own solutions from the start. Um, and this is, would be our input. So this is what we're sending into the API. And then this is, would be our, ape, a, our output or our response, which is what we're getting back from the API. So we've got some really easy um, samples here. So we've got how to perform an analysis, for instance, or how to solve, uh, sorry, save your model to your cloud storage, as well as some member design checks, um, section library or section database um, calls, and then some wind loading calls. So there's some really easy to use um, sample code here. Uh, I'm just gonna go through a simple example of running a, performing a simple structural analysis on a beam model. Uh, and there's really just two critical parts or important um, information that we do, that you do need to add for the API. One is the authentication key. So this just tells us who you are and, and provides access for you. Um, and you can get that key from here, otherwise it is automatically populated within the um, sandbox mode. So that's just my username and my uh, unique token here on my key. And then the second thing, uh, the key that's required 
is a list of functions that you want us to perform. So basically, what are the different tasks that you want us to automate with our API? So um, here we're gonna open up the software, we're gonna set a model or we're gonna build a structural model, and then we're gonna perform a structural analysis on that model. Um, and just to dive a little bit deeper into that, uh, when we're setting the model, this is where most of the work really is, is in, is actually creating the structural object. Uh, and this is known as a JSON object or a JSON format. Um, and it's a really easy and human readable format. So we can see, you know, we're setting the unit system. Um, we're adding some nodes uh, at one and two, you know, and then we're joining those nodes with a member going from one to two. And then we're also providing some section data. So we're actually loading something from a section database, uh, a W14 shape um, to obviously give that that member some cross-section properties. So that's really all it is. Very easy to follow um, exactly what's being put into the API. Uh, and uh, when I'm ready with that, I can just simply call the, the API. And what that's doing now is that's uploading that JSON file up to our servers to perform those individual tasks, uh, to build the model and to run that structural analysis. And what we get back is a response of that analysis. So we can see we get our reaction forces, um, we get our member displacements, we'll get all the bending moment forces, shear forces, deflections, stresses, everything that we could need from a, a really detailed analysis. But then what we also get is a summarized version of that too. So we can get just you know, really concise and um, easy input, easy output uh, information to see, well, what, what's the, the span or what, um, what, what are some of the really critical uh, design checks or analysis checks that we wanna run. Um, so we can really go dive really, really deep or we can look at it as sort of a summary to say, well, whether, this, whether or not this structure is passing or failing. Um, looking at another example, um, we can build something a little bit larger, so a sort of larger structural model, uh, has a lot more nodes to it. Um, and what we'll do with this one is we'll actually be um, setting the model, uh, then saving it to our cloud storage. Again, it's making an HTTP request. So that's going to our server, it's building the model, uh, and then that's gonna st store it in our cloud storage so that we can actually open it up through the user interface. So what we get is, this, again, we get a response back um, with some message telling us that the model was successfully saved to the cloud storage. Uh, we get a status to tell us that, yep, that's gone through okay. Um, and we can even, you interact with some of this data. So here we can just copy this uh, URL and paste it. And since the software is on the cloud and since the API call was made on the cloud, um, we already have the model built um, that we can open up in the SkySiv interface. So this is really, really helpful if say you're an engineer and you wanna pull data from another platform um, and start with an already built uh, model that saves you a lot of modeling time. Um, or if this is part of your workflow that you want to have an engineer review the model and just make sure that the structure is built com uh, correctly or you want to do some fine tuning on the model, uh, it really enables you to sort of streamline that process and get that end-to-end -end solution going. So I hope that gives you an idea of how you can test and run some sample code um, from the, the SkySiv sandbox, but that's still sitting on our platform. So you can see we're on platform.skysiv.com. What if I want to build my own solutions from an offline uh, platform or an Excel spreadsheet? Um, the SkySiv API enables you to do that. You can build from any other programs and integrate with any other workflows. Um, so you could build plugins for Revit, um, you could build integrations with your um, Excel spreadsheets, or even build uh, applications um, on your own web interfa interfaces as well. And uh, we've got a really, really helpful documentation um, or set of documentation and sample code that will help you get started with things like this. So it, it is just as easy as what we've just done with the platform and we've got some um, really great um, intro docs and sort of information about all the various parts or keys that you're required uh, to provide such as the authentication key. Um, really great uh, details on the different functions that you can call. So for instance, the S3D file save one that we did call earlier. Um, there's sort of information about what the inputs are and, and the responses that come back. We've also got some great packages. Um, so you can install these directly from NPM or PIP, um, which help you get started a lot, lot quicker. 
And then we have um, some, also some just really uh, low level um, sample code from Node.js or Python, um, where you can sort of copy and paste and they create like a really, really easy um, place to start. Um, so for instance, we could, or we could launch one of these um, sample codes and just copy, copy the code essentially directly from there and, and instantly we have a sort of solution that we can use. And really the only thing you need to change um, is just your API username and key. Um, and then you can start running it from, in this example, Python. So that's it. That's how easy it is to integrate uh, the SkySieve structural analysis and design API uh, with your workflows or even for you to start building your own solutions, um, whether it's online or offline or from some other workflow that you have. Um, so to get started, it's really easy. Just visit skysiv.com forward slash API. Uh, you'll get that 30-day free trial. And if you have any questions along the way, we have a great engineering team that's able to help. Um, if you have any questions with implementation or the functionality and what it does, what it doesn't do, um, we're always there to help and we, um, we can access us uh, or contact us via the, the live chat or, the, uh, or our email address at support at skysiv.com. So I hope to see you on the platform soon.